Hey guys, it's Rachel. Today we're going to be making a custom hair piece. All you're really going to need is some wax paper, a hot glue gun, and some hair. Now, with the wax paper, you're just going to take a marker and draw the size of the hair piece that you want. And then then you're going to get your hot glue gun, heat it up, and just fill it in. And this is really fun. <laughs> I do want to just take this moment to say thank you so much for your support, everyone. And a lot of people has asked me, where can I buy this hair piece or that pe hair piece? And I just thought, you know, I'll just do you one better and um, show you how to make your own. Um, and it's just so much cheaper <laughs> honestly so you're gonna grab your hair and then you're just gonna stick it on and this is really up to you how much hair you want to add how little you want to add um, I'm using my own hair so it's gonna blend so easily um, but you could just you know use hair from an old wig you could go to a hair store and just buy you know just whatever type of hair you want um, but yeah just get creative with it it's really not hard you're just gonna stick it on there and then you're gonna cut the paper the wax paper out The glue is also going to make your hair piece very flexible and bendable, so it'll be very comfortable when you actually wear it. After you cut it out, you're just going to put some soap, and you're going to let it sit for like a minute. It's It doesn't take long. You just put the soap on it, and then you're going to go over the sink, and you're just going to wash the soap off. While you're washing the soap off, the wax paper is going to come out. It's easily going to peel out. And do you see those holes in in the glue? I really like those because it, it makes your hair piece breathable. And it actually makes it lighter too. It's not going to be as dense. And so it, it's just more comfortable to wear. And then I got... Uh, some little clips and I glued them to the back and that's it you guys the hair piece is kind of wet um, so that's why you kind of see it, there's the hair looks a little bit shiny but that's it. <laughs> it it literally took me like a half an hour maybe 15 minutes and and yeah I think it came out really really well um, so I just wanted to test it really quickly to see if it actually worked, if it was actually successful, and I really thought it was successful. My hair looks so full in the front, which you guys know my hair is really thin, like beyond thin. But look at that, guys. It looks great. And, you know, you could customize it to however you want. And then I also tried it in a bun. And I thought it looked really, really full and really, really nice. So thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it.